Hey guys, welcome back to Pop'em Up Chem. And in this lesson, we're going to be looking at equilibrium calculations. This is going to be the last in our Unit 7 Equilibria series. So make sure you comment below. Uh, let me know what you're thinking about. And like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notifications. Share this channel and the content and check out our other channels, Pop'em Up Food and Pop'em Up Life. Links and timestamps in the description. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can calculate the value of Kc and determine the moles or concentrations of something at the equilibrium. We're going to be using the ICE method to do that. First things first, as usual, there is a refresh question. So having a look at this, what important industrial product is made from the harbour process? Yeah, that's right. It is ammonia. And that was the main reaction we were looking at in the last video so we've got nitrogen reacting with hydrogen to form ammonia and that is the product that we want ammonia being a very useful industrial product used in the manufacture of fertilizers which help increase the yield of crops and also a use in the manufacture of explosives which help in well blowing things up in this video, we're mainly going to focus on calculations and we're going to extend our understanding of the equilibrium law. Remember, we said the equilibrium law to find the value of Kc is equal to the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. So we can use this relationship to find out the value of Kc or find out the concentration of something at equilibrium. So to do this, we're going to use a method called the ICE method. Now, all ICE stands for is initial change in equilibrium. So we're going to set up each question stating what the initial concentration was, what the change will be and what it will be at equilibrium. So here's a question here. Let's set this up in a table so it's easier for us to look at. So we can see the question tells us the question says that we have 0.56 moles of NO2 left in a vessel to decompose, that is 0.5 decimeters, and 0.48 moles of NO is formed. What is the value of Kc? What we're going to do then is fill in the table with what we already know. We know that the products were zero initially because the reactants were left to decompose and the reactants were 0.56 moles of NO2. The last thing the question tells us is we have 0.48 moles of NO formed as a product at equilibrium. Now we want to input the change we're going to expect. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to say change for the reactants is minus X and for the products is plus X. And we're going to multiply that by the number in the equation. For example, in this equation, we have a two in front of the NO2. So we would say that is minus 2x. For the products then, we would say that we have 2NO, so we'd say plus 2x in our NO, and we have a one in front of our oxygen, so we would say plus x. Now we can see that for one of us, which in this case is NO, we actually have all of these components. So we're just gonna set this up as a simple equation and solve for x. So we have 0 plus 2x equals 0 0.48. And if we therefore solve for x, we get 0 0.24. And now we just simply use this value for x and solve the two other equations to give our concentration at equilibrium. So for our NO2, we're going to have 0 0.56 minus 2x is equal to our value at equilibrium. So therefore, we just have 0 0.56 minus 0 0.24 times 2, because that's x, which is just 0 0.56 minus 0 0.48, which equals 0 0.08. So we have 0 0.08 moles of NO2 at equilibrium and 0 0.48 moles of NO. So now lastly, we can solve for our oxygen, which is 0 plus x equals the equilibrium. So we have 0 plus 0 0.24, which obviously equals 0 0.24 moles at equilibrium. So for this example question, though, we're not finished there. It says, what is the value of Kc? 
Well, now we've got all of these values, what we want to do is we want to find the concentration because we need to put these values into Kc to calculate them. So we're just going to do the moles divided by volume, which for NO2 is going to be 0.08 divided by 0.05, which equals 0.16 moles per decimeter. Remember to concentration. So coming along to our second one, we're going to do 0.48 divided by 0 0.5 because we can use the overall moles which is 0 0.96 moles per decimeter lastly we we'll go over to our oxygen and we're going to do 0 0.24 divided by 0 0.5 which is going to equals 0 0.48 moles per decimeter lovely so now we've got all these concentrations we can pop them all into the equilibrium expression. Remember equilibrium expression, Kc is going to be products over reactants. So we're going to do NO squared multiplied by oxygen all over NO2 all squared. And once we've got the expression, we can then take the values that we just calculated. So we're going to do 0.96 all squared multiplied by 0.48 and then that all over 0.16 squared which gives us a total of 17.28 which is our value for our KC. Let's get you started on a question then which Nice and simple, you're just calculating the moles at equilibrium, not the overall value of Kc. And you can try out doing the ice method yourself. So just pause it here to give this a go. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too difficult, but let's go through it. Just like before, I'm going to put all the values that I've got from the question into my table. So I've got the initial values of A and B and I've got the final value of C, which is 0.5. And of course, I have the initial values of C and D because they were the products. I look at the balanced equation. I fill in my changes. So I've got minus 2x for A, minus xB plus x for C, and plus 3x for D, which gives me all of the things I need to get started. I'm then going to solve for x using my c which is 0 plus x equals 0 0.5 so x is equal to 0 0.5 and now i'm going to take that value of 0 0.5 and plug it in so i get for a 2 minus 2 times 0 0.5 so which is 2 minus 1 which is going to be 1 mole i'm going to do the same for b except this time i'm going to do 1.5 minus 0 0.5 which just happens to also be one mole for that as well and the last one we're going to do is we're going to fill in d which is 0 plus 3x and obviously 3 times 0 0.5 is going to be 1.5 so we're going to have a final number of moles of 1.5 for 3d so we've got 1 1 0 0.5 and 1.5 moles at equilibrium and we don't have to worry about anything else because it's just asking us to calculate the moles at equilibrium. Let's move on and have a look at a slightly more difficult question. So this question is a little bit more like one you might see. Just to be clear, you won't actually get the ice table in an exam question. This is for our own illustrative purposes and you can write that out yourself. But for now, have a go at this question. Watch out, it's asking for the overall value of Kc. So you're gonna to need to find those equilibrium concentrations and then you're going to need to actually go through and calculate Kc. Pause the video here, give yourself some time and really give this one a try. Well, hopefully that wasn't too difficult and you're just gonna follow the same process we did before. So we're gonna take our initial values from the question so they give us two moles of ethanoic acid they give us two moles of ethanol they give us 0 0.67 moles of ethanoic acid and they want us to find the kc so let's plug those initial values into our table so we've got two moles of ethanoic acid we've got two moles of ethanol 
So this question is slightly different because it says we have 0.67 moles of ethanoic acid left at equilibrium, which is one of our reactants. So we have two moles initially, and then we can write in at equilibrium 0.67 for our ethanoic acid. And we can put in, as usual, the for our uh, changes, we can have minus x, minus x for the reactants and plus x plus x for the products and don't forget you can always put in your initial for the products which will be zero and zero so as usual we're just going to solve for x from this uh, ethanoic acid so we get two minus x equals 0 0.67 so x is obviously going to be equal to 1.33 just like we did before, we plug this value of x into each of the equations we've got there. So we do 2 minus 1.33 is going to be equal to 0 0.67, which makes sense because the equation was a one-to-one -one ratio between those two and they started with the same. So that's good that that makes sense. Coming over to the products, we've got 0 plus x, x being 1.33. We got 0 plus 1.33 is going to be 1.33 and unsurprisingly because it's a one-to-one -one with the products as well for water we're going to have 0 plus x which is 1.33 is also equal to 1.33 moles here we have all of our number of moles at equilibrium which obviously also includes our ethanoic acid missed out there but that's still moles as well but the question asks us to find Kc, and so we need to find the concentration of each of these. Luckily, this question's been pretty kind to us, and it's given us in a one decimeter container, so it's not going to be too difficult for us to do these calculations because we're just going to do moles over volume, as we usually do for concentration. So any of these values will be divided by one and obviously anything divided by one is just itself so here all of our concentrations will just be equal to the moles but moles per decimeter as well once we've done that we're at the final hurdle and we're just going to plug those values into our expression for kc so we're going to get 1.33 times 1.33 divided by 0 0.67 times 0 0.67 because we're doing products over reactants as usual which gives us a value of Kc of 3.94. Brilliant work, guys. As usual, you're really going to want to practice questions with this so that you really know what you're talking about. But now the ice method is the end of equilibrium for us now. So you've really got all the skills to be able to write equilibrium expressions calculate concentrations or number of moles at equilibrium and also calculate the value of kc if it's not given thanks for joining me guys i hope you're enjoying the content please comment below let me know what you think like subscribe and hit the bell icon share this video with whoever you think would need it and please check out the other channels pop them up food and pop them up life and remember guys practice makes slightly better